we're going to find the volume of a sphere. Now look around, somebody find the formula for the volume of a sphere it's somewhere in the room. Layla, what do you got? Um, v equals one third. Try again. You're looking at it wrong. You might want to get up and go look a little better. It's not one third. Oh, four. So what is it? Uh, pi equals four over three pi r. Uh, yeah, pay attention. Four thirds pi times the radius cubed will find us the volume of a sphere. What is the sphere? Yeah, it's just a ball. Like a little tennis ball that I could throw and hit Bella on the side of the head with. I would never do that, but I could. So, this formula will find the volume of any sphere or ball. So let's look at one. Now, spheres are by far the hardest picture to draw in two dimensions. In fact, you have to be like an artist where you shade sides of it to like give it three dimensions. So I never try to draw a sphere because I just draw a circle. Pretend it's a sphere. And let's start with this. The radius is 12 feet. It's a big one. All right, so what do we do? When you're typing it in, I'm gonna teach y'all to type this one in all at one time. Are you with me? In a minute, in a minute. So we're gonna leave four thirds as four thirds. What are we using for pi, Josiah? Uh, 3.14. My man. Uh. And what is the radius? 12. 12. The only thing you can screw up on this is to type it in wrong to the calculator. Pick up your calculator and type it in exactly as you see it. Four divided by three times, you don't have to put the parentheses, just hit times 3.14 times, you do need to be able to put 12 to the third. Here's how you type that in. You're gonna hit this little button right there. It looks like a little rooftop and then hit three. So type it all in and hit enter at the very end. Lizzie, what you got? I got 7,234.53. We'll just go 0.5. Does everybody agree with Lizzie's 7,234.5? Yes. And since it's volume, what do we put? Feet. Feet. Feet, Feet what? Cubed. Cubed. It's a three-dimensional picture. Questions. Let's do another one. Now, tomorrow we're going to have a volume um, review. And then Wednesday, while I'm gone, we're going to take a test over volume. And it should be a pretty easy test because volume is not very hard. All right, let's change it up. Let's make that 18 inches. So let's go over here. We use 3.14 again. And what is the radius, Chloe? Nine. How do you know it's nine? It's half of 18. Good. Isn't that the diameter? Y'all agree with Chloe? Yeah. So she cut it in half, so she is definitely going to use nine. All right. Type all of that in at once. That, that's four divided by three times that times nine to the third. Don't forget the nine to the third. You've already helped me, you've already helped me. I need some new blood. Emma? Um, um, 3052.0. And let's put inches cubed. Do y'all agree with 3052.0? Yes. And I don't think we really need to do any more. I think two is enough. Just don't forget to type in the diameter. Don't forget to hit nine cubed. Are you with me? All right, let's rock and roll. <laughs> 